topic I'll be discussing with you today is transport system in man. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to 1. Leave the main constituent of mammalian blood. 2. State at least two functions of each named constituent. 3. Differentiate between arteries and veins. 4. Explain briefly double circulation in man. Now, let us enjoy the lesson together. Transport system in man. Transport system in man provides an efficient way of distributing materials within the body. Materials such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, antibodies, urea, and so on. Media of transportation in man are blood and lymph. Take note of the spelling of lymph. L-Y-M-P-H. Now, let's discuss composition of blood. Blood is made up of two major components, namely blood cells, which are solid, and plasma, which is liquid. Blood cells. There are three types of blood cells, namely red blood cells, which is also known as erythrocytes, white blood cells, which is also known as leukocytes, Blood platelets, which is known as thrombocytes. Take note of the spelling of these keywords. Erythrocytes, E-R-Y-T-H-R-O-C-Y-T-E-S. Leukocytes, L-E-U-C-O-C-Y-T-E-S. And thrombocytes, T-H-R-O-M-B-O-C-Y-T-E-S. Description of blood cells. The red blood cell is small, dislike in shape, reddish in color, they have no nucleus. Their lifespan is about 120 days before they are destroyed by the liver. Functions of red blood cells. One, Hemoglobin in the red blood cells helps to transport oxygen from lung to the body cells. Two, they transport small quantities of carbon dioxide. Three, they take part in blood clotting. Note the spelling of clotting. C-L-O-T-T-I-N-G. Now, white blood cell. Description. The white blood cell have irregular or amoeboid shape. They are large, colorless, and contain nucleus. They can live for many months. Functions of white blood cells are, one, they defend the body against diseases by ejecting the bacterial and virus that cause disease. Two, they produce antibodies or immunity for the body. Now we move to blood platelets. Blood platelets are tiny. They have irregular shape without nucleus. They are fewer in number. Functions of blood platelets. Platelets is in clotting of blood. Plasma. Plasma is the liquid component of the blood. It is a pale yellowish liquid. Functions of plasma. It transports end products of digested food, especially glucose and amino acid. It transports waste products. It also participates in blood clotting and it transports oxygen. We will go on break now, we will be back shortly. Welcome back. 
Welcome back students. Now we continue with lymph. Lymph, it is a colorless liquid associated with lymphatic system. Unlike plasma that has a pale yellowish color. Functions of lymph. 1. Body defense. 2. Absorption of fatty acids and glycerol. Now, let us discuss circulatory system in man. Circulatory system refers to the continuous movement or flow of blood around the body involving the heart and the blood vessels. What are blood vessels? Blood vessels are the tubes within the body through which the blood flows away or to the heart. There are three types of blood vessels, namely arteries, veins, and capillaries. Take note of the spelling of the technical word, because the technical words must be correctly spelled. Likewise, spelling of one word answer must be correct to score in any examination. Arteries, A R T E R I E S. Veins, V I V E I N S. Description of blood vessels. Arteries. Arteries have a thick muscular elastic wall with small lumen or canal. Absence of valves, it is situated deep in the muscles. Functions of arteries. They carry blood away from the heart. They transport oxygenated blood with exertion of pulmonary artery. Another blood vessel, veins. They have thin, muscular, and slightly elastic wall. With large lumen, they have valves and they are superficially located. Functions of veins. Vein carries blood to the heart. Now, capillaries. Capillaries are tiny, no valves, and they have thin walls. Functions of capillaries. They link the arteries and the veins. They permit the exchange of materials between blood and tissues. Now, let us discuss mechanism of transportation in higher animals. Higher animals like man exhibit double circulation. Double circulation involves blood passing through the heart twice. Every time it makes one complete movement around the body. Oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood do not mean as they pass through the left and right side of the heart, respectively. Double circulation gives rise to pulmonary and systemic circulation. Pulmonary circulation involves the movement of blood from the heart to the lung for oxygenation. Then what is systemic circulation? Systemic circulation involves the movement of Oxygenated blood from the heart to all other parts of the body besides the lungs and back to the heart. Pulmonary and systemic circulation can be represented by linear equation as pulmonary circulation equals heart plus lungs. Systemic circulation equals heart plus body. Appearance of heart twice in the two equations represents double circulation. We will now go on break and we will be back shortly. Welcome back students. Now let us discuss functions of blood and we trace why part questions. The mammalian blood performs lots of functions which include 
transportation of digested food, transportation of oxygen, transport of excretory products, transport of hormones, water, mineral salts, production of antibodies, defense against infection, blood clotting, and temperature regulation. Now let us look at why first question. What is June 2012, Valody 2, question 3C? Tabulate six differences between arteries and veins. Response. Arteries on one side, veins on the other side in a tabular form. Under arteries, it carries blood away from the heart. Veins, it carries blood to the heart. Arteries, it has thick muscular wall. Veins, it has thin or less muscular wall. Arteries, blood flows under high pressure. Veins, blood flows under low pressure. Arteries, it has no valves except semilunar valves. Veins, it has valves. Arteries, blood in it is pink or bright red in color. Veins, blood in it is dark red in color. Artery, it has small lumen. Veins, it has large lumen. Artery, it carries oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery. Veins, it carries deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary vein. Artery, pus is readily detectable. Vein, pus is not readily detectable. Students, I want you to know that it is essential for you to tabulate. If not, you will be marked down. Also, your points must correspond to score. Another question. Name the main artery which transports blood to the one lungs, two kidney. Response. Name of the artery that transports blood to the lung is pulmonary artery. Kidney is Renal artery. Note, the spelling must be correct to score. Another question. Take the features of red blood cells and how these features adapt the cell to perform its function. Response. Adaptation of red blood cells in performing its functions. One, presence of thin membrane. This feature makes Easy diffusion of oxygen or carbon dioxide. Two, possession of this shape. This feature increases its surface area for oxygen uptake. Three, presence of hemoglobin. This feature enables it to take up oxygen. Four, possession of elastic membrane. This feature enables the red blood cells to flow easily through the blood vessels. Note, for adaptive features, the feature and the function must be stated to score full mark. For stating the feature as mark, function of the features as mark, both will give you one full mark. Take home. Describe the changes that take place in the composition of human blood as it passes through the one lungs, two liver, three kidneys, four small intestine. That is your take home. Make sure you do it and submit your assignment. You can visit www wlifescience.com for more information. Now we are going to stop here. I believe you've been able to enjoy the lesson. Do your assignment, submit. Thank you for listening and remain blessed.